Ain't nothing, man. You know, I've, I've been wanting to do this again for a minute because, you know, since our last, since I first interviewed you, a lot has changed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know what I mean? For, 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 the, for the good. For the good, definitely. Definitely for the good. Definitely for the good. A lot has changed. For um, a, lot of, a lot of new placements. Uh, change of location. <laughs> Um, right. you know, change change of price. Yesterday's price, say t- <laughs> today's price. You know what I'm saying? So everything. Yeah. yeah. So so far, I'm, I'm I'm lucky. So no, you you're not lucky. It, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, um, we were talking last week. Uh, we were talking about how. <clears throat> and by the way, if you don't know, this is D. Damn, this is DJ Unique. He has produced for The Locks, Dream Doll. He was MOP's Troy DJ. Yeah. Troy Styles Ave. P's DJ. I'm Styles P's DJ as well. Hold it. Uh, and I'm not, P? Yeah, yeah. I started DJ for Styles P's not, not last Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving before last. Yeah. Okay. For, so but, you, 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 you hit the road with Styles? Well, I, I've done. I haven't done nothing out of town yet. Just saw. Um, okay. Did the Apollo and a couple other spots. Okay. Or um, she Gluch. Yep. Is yep on his she, resume. Uh, Uncle Murder. Uh, Dave East. Uh, who else? Lil Mo. Uh, what song I, did you do for Lil Mo? Well, it was it was a song that she was she she had did with with one. Of, I think he was her artist at the time, but. I still put the points on the board. It's called uh, "Make Up the Breakup." Okay. Yeah, it's actually a video for it. I- I'll send I'll send you the link when when we're done. Okay. I- is it her or is it her- is her is it her artist? It's her and her artist together. She's on she's all over the record. She's on the hook, and and the bridge and everything. And she's a, she's actually in the video as well. Not just a cameo, but like right. in in it. Okay. I want to talk about she glued real quick. My guy, or now nah, that's what's up. She Gluch, Johnny. She Gluch is my favorite member of the locks. <laughs> like, you know, people always say talk Jada, you know, they, they talk kiss and styles. But when you talk about Sheik and you th- Sheik has some iconic verses <laughs> on features. Like when, when he's when he's a feature. Like the Benjamins, right, uh, right, right. Res- was he on? He was on Reservoir Dogs, yeah, right? Yeah, he on Reservoir yeah, Dogs. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, Reservoir, Reservoir Dogs. Dogs. Yep. Uh, yep. Money, power, respect. You yep. always remember the Shigloos verse. You always yep. Yep. like. <laughs> how? Yep. How? How? Get at me, dog. Like word. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. is it working with my Shigloos? God. Nah, Sheik is my guy. You know it's crazy because I all three of them, like I all three of them, like my dudes. But I, I don't know, like I out of the three, I'm I'm close, I'm I'm closer and um in contact more with Sheik. And I guess you could see that by the the solo records I got with him. I probably got maybe four or five solo records with Sheik. Um, I get and I I spent more time with him in, in D Block Studio, so that's how we kind of got the rapport. Um. I don't know. Like we got a good chemistry together, me and she. We really got a good chemistry. Like and and he he usually trusts my ear. I, I can hit him and send him something, and and I, I'll I'll put in the comment like trust me on this one. And nine times out of ten, he'd be like, I right, got you. And he'll he'll hit me back like fire with the fire emojis. But if she don't hit me back, I know he ain't messing with it. <laughs> he just get quiet. But for the most part, everything I've sent she, he pretty much knocked it out the park. You gave Sheik his first girl record. Which one? Didn't you do Good Love? No, I did Good Good. Spider good, actually good. did Good Love. Oh, did Spider good, did good. good Love. Oh, shout out to Spider. Did good love. Uh, Spider, my guy. I apologize. Yeah, shout out to Red Spider. Well, yeah, nah, he oh, did Good man. Love. I, I did Good Good. Actually, Red Spider's the how I got connected with the locks. He's the one that sent me up there. And um, he was like, "Yo, they looking for beats. If you got something, he set the um, he set the meeting up, and from there we've been rocking ever since." Okay, uh, I think my favorite 
Locks DJ Unique uh collab was uh New York. Ah, yeah. That was the first one. That was and, the first and, one. And, and and they shout you out in the song like And you say New York City what you say hello 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 wax unique hello hello in the beginning like <laughs> yeah like I, I don't hear anybody yell out unique Man, like in the but, song, but but when Jada does it on a song, it's, it's something special. Yeah, you know what's crazy? I, I, that I gotta say, shout um to Luch for that too, because every song I've done with him, either he shouts me in the beginning, somewhere in the middle, or even at the end. But he he always makes sure he always says, gives me, you know, yo, what up, unique or unique, we ain't ready or you know, he always mentions me. But right. I, you know what's crazy? I wasn't there. When they recorded it and when i heard it i was like wow because I, I produced for other dudes for less and crickets you know what I'm saying? right crickets. right or they right. take your drop out or whatever the case is but you know i guess it's uh it comes with the territory right yeah and i, I like the uh the song that ended up on the, the low side of soundtrack that um the uh, the dames uh, movie. No selfies, yeah. Oh, fuck, cause now I'm traveling the globe. Can I rap like I'm rhyming in the road? Break dancing in the stroke. Pop, pop. Yeah. No selfies. Yeah, yeah, the no selfies. Word. An- I, I had the another idea chic classic rap for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, it, it's crazy because um, I think he he sets that record off and his flow on that is crazy. I I never heard him hit a flow like that, but his flow like that is crazy. Like he let niggas know, like yo. I could take it there too. You yeah. know what I mean? Gotta come Not get me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. I don't, and in the video, it's like extra violent. <laughs> yes, yes. It's guns everywhere. Guns everywhere. Word. Word, word. You and I were talking last week about uh, people taking your tags off the beats when you send them the records. How mm-hmm. inferior, how it, like they would never do that to Just Blaze, they would never, never. do that to Alchemist. Oh, like, how, inf- how infuriating, anybody. how infuriating is, is that to have your tag taken off a beat? And then when they do it, when 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 they do an interview, your name is never mentioned. Like, right, I've, never right, seen, right. I've never seen an interview with DJ Unique mentioned. You, you know what's crazy? Uh, it's it's infuriating to a point because. If if the artist paid paid my rate, the label paid my rate, no 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 negotiating anything, it's their record. So if they take it off, hey, it's their record. But it's the ones that either I gave it to you for a lower price or I might have gave it to you on the arm. The right. least you could do is exactly. at, you know say who did the beat, especially if I gave you a, a, a song that got you moving. You know what I'm saying, like. Don't that is is wild disrespectful that, that that you take the tag off. Like I said, now if you pay top dollar, it's your beat. So if that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. But like like you said, they wouldn't do it to um like a like a, a, a the Maybach music tag would never get taken off. You know what I'm saying? No. Look, or, the, the Maybach music tag is in there even if Ross ain't on the record. Right, right, <laughs> right. right, right. If, 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 if you make a mention, like the, the Dream Doll record, the Maybach Music Tag is in there. Exactly. <laughs> Prime example. Word, word. But you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. But I, like I said, going forward, you know, like I said, if you pay if you pay my full rate and that's what it is, then that's what it is. I, I, can't, I can't really be mad at it. But, like, I know when I, um, when I first started making records with the locks i had i remember asking she um specifically i was like yo i, I need that i need that just blaze like and when he when he asked me i was like the same thing cam did for just when he was like just blaze you owe me or you know what i'm saying when he hollered him out like if you didn't know who just blaze was at that point mm-hmm. now you knew who he was now you know you what know. i'm saying right and and yo and like i said they Never, I never have to ask. Like they do it a lot of times. They'll record. I'm not even there. You know what I'm saying? But they will always, always say, "Yo, unique, da da da, whatever." That's always love. That's why, like, they'll always be able to get something from it, no matter what. Because it's like keep, like, like Mef said, keep it real with me. I keep it real with you. Right. It's just that right. simple. You know. 
let's let's go back to the unique Troy Ave days. Mm -hmm. How did that relationship start? Was that through Hovain? Uh, nah, nah. It started. It started. It started because of Twitter. That that's how it started. Um, I I didn't know Troy Ave. I had heard of him. Uh, a couple friends I knew that I knew him used to tell me before. I think when he had a, a video on on BT After Dark that I had heard about. And it was like, yo, my man Av, my man Av. And I wasn't even making beats at that time. I was just doing mixtapes. And it was like, you know, would tell me about him. So I knew of him, but I didn't even know how he looked. So um, I think I, I was I had to be following him on Twitter. And he used to go around um selling his mixtapes. He would go from, you know, spot to spot, hand to hand, selling his mixtapes. So I was um somewhere in Brooklyn and I saw him tweet where he was at. And it happened to be around the corner from where I was at. I was like, you know, let me just go support, see what it's about. I got with him. I bought I bought a CD off of him. It's crazy because I bought a CD off of him. Then he threw me an extra one. Like, yeah, that's what being a real nigga. And I was like, you know, I, I do beats and everything. And he was like, nah, that's what's up. So let's let's try to do something. We come up together. And um we it started with one record. We I went by his crib. He had a small studio set up in his crib. I bought my MPC with me. And we did a record called O's. That was that was the first time I, I the first record I did with him. And then from there, it was kind of organic. Like he he understood the type of beats I had and, it, you know, it fit him. And we kind of crafted a sound together. And then I met I met Hovain later. With, okay. but, but, you know, of course, through, through Troy Ave, I met Hovain later. And then, um, you know, we rocked out for a little while. And then I guess, you know, I guess we probably probably started going in a different direction sonically. So after the Bricks in My Backpack series, I kind of like, I might have been on White Christmas. I'm not 100% sure. I might have had like one joint on a White White Christmas album. Then after that, you know, then I, I really didn't do, do too much, too much um, with him. But like, it was never no problem. Nothing. It's just, you know, right. I'm doing, I'm doing him over here. He's doing him. You know what I'm so saying? So there was, there was, there, there was a, to me, a meteoric 50 cent esque rise for Troy Ave. Like he was he was upward bound. What happened? Yeah. Yo, I yo, I don't know. I know we made we made some good records. And rocks, man, listen, I I guess controversy and you know, just I guess beefs and stuff, you know. But you know it, it's crazy because I like I said I know Av Av is a good dude. He's not a troublemaker, so I think he just I think just getting caught up with um with maybe what you know addressing outside issues kind of kind of you know caught him up and it kind of maybe started like the downward spiral of um you know the rise that he had. But right. I mean, it's like, it, to, to, and he still puts out dope music to me. He still puts out dope music. Like we haven't done anything in a long time, but. You know, it wouldn't be nothing to to knock one out with him. But I, I guess we'd probably have to get that chemistry back. But yeah, I, I, yo, I I thought it, I thought it was gonna be because, like you said, it had like that fifty cent G unit, like the dip set type fit. It, like it Momentum, felt like yeah, yeah, it was a, a new movement in, in in New York, and unfortunately, it got stagnated by you know that that whole Irvin Plaza situation. I, I would even say before then. Like it started, yeah. I would, yeah. I would say, yeah. It started kind of, kind of slipping in, and the sound started going a different place. Like I said, we 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 kind of created a sound together. Now, not to say that I was doing all the beats. I did a lot of the beats, but it was a combination of me, uh, Yankee Crown King, John Cinco, and um, Sonny Dukes, Sonny Dukes. Like these these dudes, and it's crazy. I've I, other aside from Yankee, I have I never met the other guys, but. They they put out some good material, I think. But Av, me and Av stuff stood out more because, like I said, from those bricks in the back in my backpack series, everything that was a video or a single, I, it was the it was the joints I did, like um Coca Mania, uh, I'm trying to think the town. It's so many, the town. Coca Lord is my witness. Um, Blanco, I did. Um, shit. It, 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 I couldn't even like to ramble them off right now. I couldn't even because it's a lot that I'm forgetting. Like, but you know, so, I, I think I, I help get I help craft that signature sound. Okay, <laughs> let's let's break down the math money wise of the mixtapes. Like, 
when you're producing a track on a mixtape back then, were you getting paid as a work for hire or were you getting a cut of the mixtape sales? It was a work for hire. Work for hire. Okay. Yeah, work for hire. And you know, I would I would rather it that way. I mean, you know, it's still a it's still a gamble because you don't know what it's gonna sell. Right. So, you know, you you get a cut of something that sold 50 units, it ain't really a good look, but you know, you take take a work for high and and it should sell a crazy number. You're like, damn, but I you know, at, I'd rather my money up front. <laughs> at, 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 th at this point, are you doing like two hundred dollars a beat, one hundred dollars a beat? Five, five. at that oh. time, yeah. Okay. That ain't today's price. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> At that time, yeah. At that time. Today's price on a mixtape is 2500 flat. On a mixtape. Okay. Or Major. I mean, you know, I work with dudes like I'm like I said, I understand like some dudes you're not you know they still coming up trying to so we we could work something out, but for the most part for a mixtape is 2500. Right. Right. Um Talk about your Kaya baby record. Bacon egg and cheese with a lost the map with the ribba. Either way, I'm eating the A day, I'm a gift fly and get it with my team. And how that came uh, about. The Kaya baby record, the uh and and and, and the, the, the 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 backstory con well not really controversy, but how you how you had to switch some things up at the end. <laughs> um the Kaya baby record, I I that came about. I was actually playing around on Instagram. Um I was bored in the crib, so I got the MPC out. And I pulled up a random song just just to be, you know, just to be creative. And it happened to be the Jay-Z. Um, oh, is that Beanie? Is Beanie Siegel do it again. It's Beanie, yeah. Beanie's record, right? I pulled it uh, up. It's a Jay-Z record, I think. It, it's a Jay-Z record? Yeah. So I, I pulled it up. And, um, you know, I, I just start making a beat on, on live. And um, Kaya Baby's manager, Footloose, that's my guy. We've been friends for a long time. Um. I got off live and I, I was actually about to delete the beat and he hit me like, yo, what you, what you doing with that? So I'm like, yo, you want it? You know, whatever. So I was like, all right. He, he said, yeah. And that was about two years ago. And, uh, he hit me last year, I guess last year. When, did it come out last year or did it just come out this year? I heard I Flex playing it in like November. Yeah. So all right, he hit me last year and asked me if the beat was still available. And I was like, yeah. And then he was like, all right. So, you know, we worked it out. I sent it over to him. Now, the um the version that everybody hears, that's the version. Well, later on, you know, I gave I, I gave him the record and um they love the record. You know what I'm saying? The way the way, you know, I had some 808s and the way my drums were. And then um he hit me and we got on the phone uh three way with Flex. And, you know, uh Flex was saying that um the drums were a little too busy. And asked me if I would, you know, just dumb them down a little bit. And I, I kind of get it to kind of, you know, I guess so he can mix it with, you know, some of the stuff that's going on now. And that's the record you hear today. Now, I, I still have the original and it's 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 the same beat. It's just the drums are a little more. Uh, New York. To say to say the least, it got more of a New York uh, boom bap vibe. If you want, I, 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 I'll um, email it to you so you can check it out. But like okay. I said, for the most, other than the drums and the 808s, it's, it's pretty much the same record. And and that's the version she actually rapped to. Yeah, she rapped to the to the to the original one first. Like right. uh, if you you would probably notice that the energy is a slightly uh when you would if you if you compare the two, you would note you notice that her energy with the new drums is a little more uh amped up than with the with the uh simpler drums because she rhymed to the to that boom bat. Right. Yeah. She's from Queens, right? Yeah, she's she from Queens. Queens. Yeah, she's from we, Queens. We're gonna see another uh unique Kai baby uh record. Yeah, well yeah, uh Foot Footloose hit me for uh, it is funny because it was another joint I did and I just happened to um play it on Instagram again and he hit me. You and you know, Instagram. With Instagram. <laughs> he hit me with the eye emojis with the eyes. It's crazy because I, I had to ask my wife, like, what's the eyes mean? <laughs> so I hit him and and I so I found out that's what it meant. So I sent it to him. He said, All right, I'm a um I'm gonna let her hear it. And he texts me back the next day, yeah, she messing with it. So, you know, I took it off Instagram so that it's not up there anymore. And it's it's a dope beat. And hopefully that'll be the um maybe the next record, hopefully. 
Uh, is she is she signed yet? Uh, not that I know of. Not that I know. Okay. She might be. She might. But as far as I know, I I don't know. Okay. Um, let's get the dream doll. Uh huh. How did you hook up with Dream Doll in uh, French Montana for Ice Cream Dream? That okay. Um, DJ Self is a good friend of mine. Like we we like really good friend of mine. Like that's my guy. And Dream Doll is is uh, signed to his his um, imprint. And oh, he, um, he he not messing this one up. <laughs> he's not messing this one up. He he's seen Cardi, and he's like, nah, I'm not messing this one up. <laughs> so um, it's crazy because he hit me out the blue, like, yo, send me some beats. And that beat that I gave Dream Doll, I had it for a while, and I, I I've been trying, I had tried to give it to people, and it got turned away. And um, it's funny because I actually gave that beat first. To um this artist that signed to Def Jam now she's dope she's from the Bronx name um Connie Diamond, I gave it to her first, and she actually wrote to it, and we was we were um I, I locked in the time to go to the studio and okay. um so you know I so being that she didn't use it, so I figured you know that beat's still available so now when when self asked me and I knew you know it's crazy because being a DJ. I know, and it's not. I don't, I don't want to see it come off like cocky or, or arrogant. Or I know, like this is one. This is this is one of those ones, and not just because I made it, but I know what I would play as a DJ, and I know what other DJs would play. And right. I know in New York, like any record that feels like that old New York feeling, but not dated, DJs are going to gravitate to it because it's, it, let's get it. It, we're looking for that. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of mm -hmm. artists aren't doing it. So when he asked for us beats, I just sent that one beat. I already knew. And I, I sent that beat and he hit me back like, yo, they're going crazy in here over this. I'm like, all right, well, you know, let's do it. And, you know, same process. Months and months went by. And then, you know, then I get contacted from um from from their label or, or you know, whatever. Uh, and, uh, we you know, we go through the paperwork, lawyers, and, and you know, get the beat through the record. And I, I didn't uh, initially. I didn't know French Montana was going to be on it. I thought it was just going to be her. And then once it was done, I was like, "Oh shit!" So they really running with this record. And you know, that was that. Sitting on the top, I'm in the bay, looking like bay. Fuck you, thought I need a butter pecan weekend. And you know, like I said, I I I got them on deck. So it's just a matter of like you know getting with me. Now l let's talk about the splits for that record. You got Wu Tang. You have the original sample. We have your credit, Dream Doll's credit. credit, and French Montana. And, and, and then, who, then you got uh, there was a there was another producer named Street Runner. The original uh, bass Street Runners on there too. Yeah, he played the bass line over. He played okay. the bass line over. I, and, and it's crazy because I I I've, I've, I know I know of Street Runner his credits, but I, I never met him. But they, you know what the uh, the thing is, they um actually hit me. <clears throat> from the label and asked me if I mind and I, I, I appreciate that because I could have been like nah I don't want anybody else on the record and been greedy but I'm like yo if it's dope it's dope They, I, I heard it I'm like it's dope and I, I personally I'm, I'm a sample based producer I don't play <clears throat> and the baseline I had was a sample so that, that just would have been another slice another hef heftier right. slice into the into the publishing so it made sense Um, so yeah me Street Runner uh, Dream the the Raekwon's split and then the original can, can, sample. Can, that's that's five. Can you can, can you say what the splits were? You don't have to say money wise, but the percentage. Well, I I will say personally, Yours? I got I got I got twelve point nine percent, something like that. Twelve point nine percent of the record. Of the record, yeah, yeah. And normally right. under under normal circumstances, if I don't have any samples on the record, I get fifty percent. Let's say if I do have, let's say one sample, depending on what the, what the the person I sample is going to take, and for the most part, most unless you mess with Marvin Gaye, uh, most most times they'll take you know between 30, 25 and thirty percent, and that still leaves me out of fifty percent, either twenty or twenty five percent, which isn't bad, you know what I'm saying? So and, and normally the artists get the other fifty. I was I was always under the misconception, and you just proved that. 
you know, my thinking was wrong. I thought that if the artist's voice wasn't in the song, you would just credit, you know, RZA. But right. Raekwon is a writer on that. But so is Ghostface. And so like, Go yeah. <laughs> well, you know, so what's crazy? That, that, I, I that's, know that's the part I don't understand. His name isn't in the uh in the royalty splits. I, I know I know uh his government from you know just reading credits. I know for a fact his name isn't in the splits. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's just RZA. No. Right? Yeah. His name is. Oh, okay, splits. okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I was right. I was my my thinking was correct then. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I thought Raekwon got hit off, but yeah. Uh, when 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 you when you send you send me the record, I was like, "This is a hit." I think this is before yeah, the video. It. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably before the video. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah." I think. Did I have that? No, I. You know what? I made that after we had that 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 first initial um interview we did. I yeah, I made that like a few years after, a few years after. But I I was sitting on that beat for for a while. Like sometimes I have those ones. Like I have them now. Where it's like, this is this is that one, but it just takes for the artist to get it, and that's the thing they don't always get it. But a lot of times, like nowadays, especially, the artists just want the beat and they want to do what they what they feel they could do to the record, as opposed to being produced. And that's what I think. Uh, Buck right, Wild right. posted a, um, um, a video that E E E Ski E A Ski from the West Coast, yeah. and saying how you know. A lot of artists they don't like to be produced. They just want to do what they want to do, and that's how you got such mediocre music. And it's not to say the artist is me mediocre, but sometimes you need that guidance to to make the record a dope record. It's like like say like uh like say LeBron, he, he's a dope he's a dope talented basketball player, but you still need the coach to call the plays to get the wins. At the end of the day, the coach. Without the plays, what they just running running a, a pickup game, right, right. And full disclosure, me and Unique have these hour long phone conversations <laughs> about artists and how they don't listen. Like you, you and I have been through the ringer with <laughs> artists who don't listen. Probably you more than me. Yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen you at least do produce for guys. And they're gone the next week. <laughs> like the the dude where you did the record, you ain't J Clark. What was it? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't yeah. you ain't Jay Reed. Yeah, you ain't you ain't, you ain't, you ain't no cop Jay Reed. You ain't no cop. Yo, where is he at? He I, he's locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Word, my man G I B. Word. But um, that record yeah. was fire. Yo, know, and I, the crazy thing is, and he's a dope artist. Yeah, it was. And the, the crazy, I tried to tell him um, that when we did the record, he he starts off the record saying um, "Summer 16, Summer 16. And I'm like, "Don't do that because you're dating the record. Never do that. Don't date the record." But you know, he felt that's what he needed to do. So, yo, you bought a beat, like 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 they say sometimes. So you bought you bought a beat. It's your beat now. It's it's it's, it's out of my hands. But it's, for the it's, most it's, part. Is that what the Uncle Murder uh, relationship? Is, Uncle Murder's on that record, right? No, no um, Uncle Murder. The record I did with Murder on it. That's that's the good good record with Sheik Lutz. Okay. Yeah, on that record that you're talking about with G, I mean, he's on there by himself. But you know, I could see how you could think that because his voice kind of is similar to Uncle Murder's. It, it's a yeah, song. like him casting over two times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah yep, they got it has a, it has that kind of feel. Yeah, yeah, that loud raspy voice. How 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 did the Uncle Murder uh relationship start? Uh how did I well at the record I got with Uncle Murder, that's that's Luch um record. But now I do know Murder. Uh how the hell did I meet Uncle Murder? I'm trying to think. Had to be in Brooklyn. Yeah, you know what? It, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it had to be in Brooklyn. East New York. Was it I, yo, it's been so long, I really I all, only thing I could remember with Uncle Murder, I remember, and this this was like early in my beat journey. He um he asked me to come meet him in the studio. He's like, I'll come to the studio, a spot in Manhattan, right off of 34th Street. And it was already like 12 o'clock at night. 
I leave Brooklyn, come there. It's it's like six goons. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You 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 leave your comfy parking space in Brooklyn that you didn't drove around the block twelve <laughs> times to find to go yes, to Manhattan. Word, word. And the crazy thing, but you know, I'm 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 out here trying to get it. I go right. up there. I don't know these dudes, but you know they was cool. But at the time, I I'm I'm kind of cautious. I don't know what kind of kind of time they on. <clears throat> so I tell them they like, yo, he coming. Don't worry about it. Now it's one o'clock. I'm, I'm I text him, yo, I'm, I'm on my way. Don't worry about it. two o'clock coming. Now we pushing three o'clock, man. I was like, I'm out of here. That that's the that, I think that was the last interaction I had with Uncle Murder. I, I probably seen him make a couple times in between there, like in the club or whatever, but. Yeah, yeah, we ain't got no records. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought you had records outside of the, the Sheik Luce record. Nah. Maybe I, maybe I, I was thinking GIB. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you probably think of GIB. Yeah. You probably think of GIB. Okay. Or, Damn. I do like your new artist. Uh, Ray Rav. Ray Rav. Rav is dope. Ray Rav. Yeah. Ray Rav is dope. Yeah, what is he? 22? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 22. Yeah. 22. 22 or 23. I'm trying to think. Yeah, he's about no, I think he's just 23. I think he just turned 23. It's funny because like Uncle Murdy, he's from East New York, too. He's <laughs> he's he's dope. He he seems to have a good head on, on his shoulders. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's crazy, like he's really knowledgeable uh, uh, at hip hop to be so young, but you know, his pops is is of is is of the culture. So, you know, it's only right he grew up listening to nothing but hip hop, but it's crazy because talking to him like the age difference when he he says like he was five i think when get rich and die trying came out. i'm like god damn bro <laughs> god damn. damn i'm a grandfather then damn <laughs> damn see these grades were <laughs> yo but yeah we did a whole we got a whole project together coming so um I think off that project, there's a video, one video dropped um, called Friday the 13th, where I, um, I was in the crib one day watching Friday the 13th and decided to um, chop up the, that Jason uh, ch -ch -ch sound and and throw some throw some drums and some, um, you know, a couple synths and stuff behind it. And, you know, it came out dope. Um, I was going to ask you about... Uh... I wanted to go back mm -hmm. to the locks. Favorite artist in the locks. Oh, that's a hard one. You know what's crazy? Ah. You know, I can't. Ah, that's a hard one. Uh, you, you I, got I don't one. think I can even I don't <laughs> even think I could pick a favorite. I really couldn't. I, I you know, I guess people would probably think it would be chic because we have more records solo together. But um, nah, yo, I, you know, I really couldn't, I couldn't pick one. But I know, I know, before it's all over, I definitely got to get, I got about four or five solos with Sheik. I got to do the same with um, Styles and Kiss. It's crazy because I've sent Styles a lot of beats, but I just haven't been able to nail that one with him. And I, I think one of the last text messages we had, I was like, yo, and and I know he's um, he's gonna retire from doing the solo projects, right? And just focus on lock stuff. And I, one of the last some um, text conversations I had with him, like, yo, I got to get at least one knocked out with you before you, you know, hang your hat up. And that did, that's that's like that's like a personal mission of mine. Er, but um, so, I did a the record called Bring It Back With Them. And it's, it's funny because the New York City, right? I can't I find it hard to get a record with Styles, <clears throat> but he actually he was the one that picked the New York City record. And then the record really? I did bring it back. Oh. Jada picked that one. And I think Sheik picked all the other ones. Okay. Um your uh your your style is really New York centric. Yeah. Like I th I think being a DJ helps you tailor your production Definitely. because I think you Definitely. envision your stuff being played in a club. Yep, that yo, I, I that's exactly how I make my beats. I make my beats for two two things. The clubs and people that's that still got uh booming systems in their car. 
two that's the two reasons i that's that's not and even if it don't exist no more that's just how i go in making the records but definitely for the clubs like it gotta have that knock it gotta have that that 808 that's gun that you're gonna feel in your chest and it gotta it gotta have a head nod factor to it for me at least or at least a two-step factor but definitely the head nod factor if i can't go like this or if i can't see anybody going like this yeah i'm gonna scrap it mm, really yeah and it's crazy because I probably scrapped some shit that probably would have been a fucking hit. <laughs> and I really gotta stop doing that. Because exactly. I don't know. I, I don't like uh I, yo, I'm I'm funny, like I don't like um like I'm I'm like one of those guys that um like shit gotta be clean before I could do anything. Like I guess it's like ADD or whatever, but I don't like clutter. So it's like I don't like cluttering my hard drive with something that I don't plan on ever using. But I, I really got to get out of that because, like you said, just because I don't like it, that, that don't mean it's not like dope. Because artists always pick the beats that Yo, you use. every time. Every fucking time. <laughs> like, you want Yo, this? Shit that I, and then you look at them like, you like that? You, 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 could, you could play the Benjamins. They'd be like, hmm, the beat before that. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know it's crazy because I, I saw an a interview once where uh, Sheik was saying that they didn't like the Benjamins. He said that they didn't like it when they first heard it. I'm like, how the fuck you didn't? The, when I first heard it, before I heard the lyrics on, when I first got the, the the vinyl and that beat came on, I'm like, yo, this shit right here is crazy. Shout out to D. Dot Angeletti because that shit's a monster. Uh, I, that that has to be that's. That's top ten hip hop beat of all time. Has to be. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I don't even think you can argue that. I don't even think you can argue because it's like, and and it's it's so recognizable. You don't like a DJ could just tease tease the drum, and you already know what's about to come on. Exactly. Um, Yo, I, I I remember like that that song like being played back to back. Back to back, like, and that's that's kind of rare, you know what I'm saying? Only only other two, on, only other song, and even as a DJ, I remember playing back to back multiple times. Is the Benjamins and, and Buster put your hands with my eyes to see? What about grinding? Yep, grinding. Clips. You know what? That was later on, but yep, definitely grinding. Yeah. Yep, yep, and that's another one to this day. That shit's hard. Word, pause. That that song is super hard. Yeah, not nah, word. So you, you, you and I had a discussion that we we're going to put out 20 records this summer. Yep. Yep. So artists, we will be reaching out to you. Unique and I will be putting out 20 records. We're only going to give you one beat. You're not getting no choices, no multiple choices. <laughs> That's it. If you don't like the beat, we're just going to move on. Yep. Like, well, we'll spin the block and maybe drop something else off. We 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 are not waiting for artists anymore. We're gonna drop as soon as the record is mixed and the video is shot. Yeah, right. yep, yep. We we we're, yep. we're, we're not shopping records for you to sit on the beat for a year and never release it. Man, that's a that's a whole nother conversation. Sitting on fucking beats, bro. Like I've had dudes, like you said, sit on beats for a year or better, and it's it's cool because I get it. Not every beat's for everybody, and I'm not sensitive. So if you don't like the beat, it's cool. Like, yo, all you gotta say, nah, unique, that ain't the one for me. It's fine. Is, is, if is, I know is the it's beat, good. is the beat paid for when they're while they're sitting on is it right, paid for? And that's that's the part right there. That's the part. <laughs> it don't even be paid for. You sit on a beat, then when I when I I, I the time you, you you elapse so much time, I'm like, uh, apparently you're not gonna use it, especially if you're sitting on a beat and you're putting out other music. What am I supposed to think? You don't you, you're not messing with it, and it's cool. But don't get mad when I take those same beats that you sat on and did nothing with and place them over here. Now you tight talking about why'd you give away my beat? Number like you said, number one, it wasn't your beat because <laughs> you didn't pay for it. Number two, you sat on it for that long. What am I supposed to think? Like we grown. If you're not messing with it, you're not messing with it. It's cool. What the fuck? I'm I ain't say, I'm not Carl Thomas. I'm not emotional. Like I'll send you something mm. else. Look, man, I think. I think you need to take the uh, Swiss Beats approach and just start popping up in people's videos. Yo, you know that, what's crazy? Because uh, Rav has said that to me uh, like not too long ago. He's like, yo, I'm shooting a video for another, a song he did. Well, um, 
because he has a bunch of songs with like other producers and he was like yo i i want you to be in it i don't know it might have been a song i produced but i'm not sure and i i i, I was like nah bro i'm good like but you know what you, you kind of you're right i i'm i've never been the guy to be all in the video <laughs> all on the record hey, it's 2023 it's, it's, it's time to be that guy <laughs> look if, if they're not gonna shout, shout your name out you might as well be in the video nah yo and you're right you're right you're right you know what i'm saying i i gotta tell i, I gotta start um practicing to tell somebody you'll get make sure you get my good side hey. <laughs> Word. <laughs> oh, Word. Man. Um. So yeah, man, I'm 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 glad we had this. We win, of course. We you and I are gonna do this again. This is like our nah, regular definitely, definitely, regular yeah. phone call. <laughs> yeah, yo, and I de I definitely got to get. It's a lot of times you do the um the lives and you have a, a bunch of other um producers on on here, and I'm always somewhere where it's just not. A good place to be be on a live, but I definitely want to get on on one of those calls because a lot of guys you got on there, like I I know of them because of you, you know what I'm saying, and and I'm I'm became fans of, of stuff they do, you know what I'm saying, like um like Kev Brown, like I, I really didn't know of Kev Brown until to watching like some of your YouTube videos and stuff like that, and then it made me jump down the rabbit hole, like yo, this guy's dope, him, okay. Jay Sinai, um. You know, a few people, um, I'm trying to think that it was, ah, I can't think of this guy. He's a light-skinned dude. I Camber. can't think of his name. I, what's his name? Camber. Can, I think that might be. You did a, a, a um, one of the um, Behind the Beats with him. With I'm trying yeah. to think. I know he's from the DMV. I know he's from the DMV, but he was playing some dope stuff, man. Dope, dope stuff. Or er, um, I lost my chance. Oh, you on the phone last week? We talked uh, about it, I believe. on the yeah. phone last week. You talked about God's favorite drums. Yeah, DJ Wide Body, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Yo, like I said, I would have to go down, go go pull up my hard drive because I like you said. I'm not sure if I got. I'm pretty sure it's volume one <clears throat> but man listen i you know and i and, and that was because of you i saw so you know i saw you had you had posted something about it and I, I saw it and i was like let me you know just support i didn't even know but i can't i take your word for it so but like i said i'm going in not even knowing what it's about but it wasn't that much money i got i copped it um and yo that shit was everything you said plus some like them shits knock they knock so like if nobody said it go get dj wide body <laughs> god's favorite drums you won't regret it trust me you won't regret it yeah we we, we don't we don't we don't need some of those on a uh on a chic record no nah, hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah and it's crazy because it's like i'm trying to think i i'm not a hundred percent sure if did I get them when I did the dream though? I really don't know. I really don't know. Cause you know what's what's crazy? I don't um I don't really put the name of the drums until like if I'm tracking it out. So I'll kick. <clears throat> so I'll I'll put like then I'll put like, you know, kick drum from such and such. Or sometimes I just put kick. But um now nah, I'll definitely um make a conscious effort of when when I use when I use them those drums. I definitely um let you know like yo I use I use God's favorites on these where all right, all right. Yeah, we we would we would greatly appreciate it and you know nah, get them to, get them to stop taking your tag off they don't they don't take Scram Jones uh tag off his right, shit. right 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 <laughs> status selected his shit still be on there like leave my yeah, man yo, that shit tag on you know there the, the shit that it baffles me because like especially when I did you a solid. Like the least yes. you could do. Yes. That's the least you could do. Like, 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 um, like Cameron said, have some courtesy, Curtis. Like, come on, man. <laughs> have a little courtesy. <laughs> Word. 
All right, All right, man. I'm gonna let you get to it, but you know, thanks as always. Salute to you. All right. Thank um, tell tell, tell everybody it, what you got. What you what what's what's uh, next before we hop off in your uh, social. Uh, uh, all social media is um at DJ Unique B K N Y. Uh, if you want to check out anything that I've done, work that I've done, I got a website now. It's called beatsfromunique.com all one word beatsfromunique.com oh, unique is spelled u n e e k e e k yep uh like i said i just gave uh kai just took a, took one from me uh i got a, a cheat just took two from me i got um i got two joints now with um and a and a ep project coming with um scott king from formerly of the franchise um some of y'all might know him as q the kid um wait 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 that's the same person yeah yeah same person oh yeah. remember it was he was in a group him him and gravy they were the franchise gravy um y'all might I know did. from um playing biggie in the biggie movie notorious yeah. uh, is scott king his government name uh i think so i'm not 100 I, I would assume so i would assume man, so. man let me tell you i get i get so confused with I, I'll mix up uh, Red Cafe, uh, fucking Grav. Like <laughs> when 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 niggas throw on a, a New York fitted, they all look the same to me. Like they need they need to switch it up, man. Like <laughs> like throw, throw, throw on some different hats so I can distinguish who's who. Yo, man, the New York fitted is the uniform, kid. Yankee Come fitted on. pair Tims, white tee. Look. That's you go in a club, right? Look, if, if you want to get at a rapper and you go to a club, you shooting at randoms because everybody got on the fucking the uniform. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. You ever remember that episode of The Wire when they was gonna body the kid and um they was like, How do we know he's from New York? And he had the Yankee, he had the Yankee fitted on, he had the Tim's, but they had to ask him a, a Baltimore question to find out if he was really from New York or from Baltimore. <laughs> Yeah, man. But oh, um, on, New York, they yeah, they they make yeah, they so make we, New York hats in different colors. Like, come on, like <laughs> shout shout you know shout to Matt is? Hoffa. Matt Hoffa does the different <laughs> different colors. <laughs> shout to Matt. Yeah, Yo, it's crazy. It's funny because um, before I before I came into the car to to, to go on live with you, I had ran to the store. And, I, I had a New York <laughs> Yankee, the Navy Blue traditional <laughs> New York City, Yankee New York City room. Or um, yeah, but we um, Scott King, he yo, he got some shit. We, he just actually, I was I was talking to him this morning. He just sent, I sent him something. I just he just sent back the record. So right now he's in um he's in Atlanta. That's where he's based at now. So I'll send him the the records. I'll send him the beats. He'll cut the vocals, and then once we're done, he's gonna fly me back. Um, everything, and then you know, I'll take it to the studio and then get a good mix on everything. But you know, I, I've known him for a while. Like he started him gravy and Red Cafe. They started on on my on my mixtape together. I was actually the first mixtapes that they did. Okay, and they were regulars on my mixtape. Um, shout out to my man Fendi. I know Fendi was managing them at the time. I know Fendi from a, a OG of mine named Lays who manages um MOP. That's always managed MOP. Right. Were. So yeah, the, the joint with him I got coming. Uh, actually later today, knock on wood, I'm I'm a meet with um this new artist from East New York, uh, Billy B. I'm gonna meet with her manager later today, and you know I know I definitely got one for. Her, so it's just a matter of her right now hearing it and them seeing a the vision. But if she if she hears what I hear, it'll it'll, it'll you'll ha you'll hear it in the summer if everything goes right. Have you seen the uh? The female rapper in New York, she goes by Pound Cake. She's kind of heavy set, light skin. Nah, I'm not. Nah, nope. She can rap, rap. Like she. Oh, can, yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna find her. Where she from? What, part, what part of New York? What part of New York? I want to say the know? Bronx. I think the Bronx. Yeah, okay. Okay. You know, you gotta go up there. that does sound familiar. I might be getting her <laughs> stupid. I might be getting her mixed up with a uh a, <laughs> another rapper from the Bronx. It was um another. I think she was from the Bronx, but I think she was. I want to say she Puerto Rican, <clears throat> but she's like um 
like one of those aggressive chicks, like um the this, lesbian yeah, type chicks. But yeah. is that her? Wait, it was is there? Well, I, I don't know. I think this one's the one I'm speaking. Of. I think her name is Pound Cake. Yeah, I'm not sure what this chick's name is, but she, the, the chick I'm talking about, she gives me like a she she is a little heavy, but not not like not big pun heavy, but she's a little right, heavy. right. Yeah, this this old, same old lady luck heavy. You know, you know love what? Ain't, ain't heavy no more. And I L- like, Lady and Luck, I like love. Lady I'm Luck like. is not putting me in no battle bars. Mm-mm. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not at all. Babs, I apologize. The the was was was. What do you say when when the shows come on? The uh, the comments made by our guests <laughs> are not don't necessarily reflect <laughs> <laughs> the views. The views and comments made by Unique do not reflect yeah. the views from uh, that, oh, I, I don't want no female battle rap shit on me because them <laughs> the the female battle rappers go low. Now you know what's crazy. They I go low. Now I always thought luck, I, and to this day, luck is dope. Um, and it's, it's crazy. Speaking of female battle rappers, I I would really like to do a record with Miss Hustle. I think Miss Hustle is dope. Miss Hustle is Ms. dope. Hustle. She's really dope. I, I got records with Babs. Me and Babs did stuff together. That um, she she need to put them out. <laughs> yeah, Babs is dope. Babs no, is I'm a, dope. I'm a, oh, and I'm, I got um, I'm gonna text Babs right now. Tell her to put them damn records out. Yeah, not bad. That's that's the homie. Her, yo, her yo, big old, night, me and big over there. Me and Bass in the studio, knocked out some. <laughs> Word, but um, and and then there's another artist from uh Canarsie, Rose Rome. We got um, we got two records out now. Um, one called "Get the Bag" that's on his upcoming EP, where I sampled um Top Villain. I chopped that up and flipped that differently, and then another one, uh, Windows, where I um, it was kind, it was kind of like one of those things similar to um, like with the um Kai record, I was just on live playing around where I chopped up Window Shopper, mm-hmm. um, the Fifty Cent record. So yeah, I got those two coming, and um, you, you're like the the New York version of Hitmaker. Yo, I, yo, that, I yo, I I was telling somebody the other day, I I'm really aspiring to 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 be. DJ Premier in '95 now, mm. like D- Premier was on everybody shit. Everybody like you didn't get a, a, a song a record that did that either he wasn't on it or he didn't do a remix on it. And that that's that's what I'm trying to go for now. And like you said, like the 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 the, the New York hitmaker, like and it's, and it's crazy. And I, I'm not to sound cocky, but the way it's going now, and and the, my track record. If you want one of them, especially if you're from New York, if you want that banger, you're gonna have to come see me. Yeah, and, and like I said, and and I, you know me, guys, like I'm a humble dude, but I'm on my shit now. You. They, 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 like, they gonna yo, have to see you. You gotta, you gotta come see me. Like I'm a, and I'm gonna deliver. You're gonna get the hit. You're gonna get that that banger you're looking for, and 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 you'll be satisfied. But at some point. No matter how, even if you're trying to avoid it, you're gonna have to come see me. You're gonna have to he, come see. Me. He already gave you the mixtape price. That ain't the album <laughs> price. So let's let's, Word, let's get but that. But like straight. I said, even with that, like independent artists, I'm not trying to run your pockets. I'm really not. Like, and I, I understand. Like, you want to come if you're serious about what you're doing. We can work it out. Like I said, right. we could. You know what I'm saying? I we could work it out, and even. I'm not. I'm not above the bartering system. You know what I'm saying. You might have some a, a resource or something that I can I can use. Yo, let's make it happen. But hitting me with that, let's work. Nah, my nigga, so, <laughs> we ain't doing that. You know what? On, on, on that note, because I hate yeah. that shit. That yo, that that just let's work means I ain't got no money, but I want a free beat. That's all that means. <laughs> Translation: I ain't got no bread, but I want. That's what that means. Yeah. I'm, I'm dead ass, bro. I don't have no money for you. Yeah, and, and yo, and the crazy shit with that is, it's like they'll you'll see they'll they'll pay the videographer to shoot this this elaborate video. They where better they're wearing where they're right, <laughs> right? Where, where they where they're wearing all this um, designer stuff with 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 stacks of money to your ear, and, and you and you want to beat for free. Like, how much do you believe in yourself that? You want to be 
like for free. Like if that's the case, make an a cappella project and see how that works out for you. Mm. Cause this shit's fucking crazy, yeah. Like, like I said, I'm not a ball. <laughs> nah, I really did like that. <laughs> either woke or either woke the dragon. Like and then this is, it, it, it's ridiculous. Like that shit, I don't like. And the other thing I I'm not fond of is if if we have a relationship and let's say I did throw you something and I'm working with you or I I, I gave you something for a lower price or whatever the case is. Or, or you know working within your budget, don't just take the two track and go crazy because you it, you're still not making a good record. You're just rhyming over the instrumental. Let's make the record. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a good mix. Let's let's go. Let's do the vocals enough to make sure everything is is in pocket the way it's supposed to be. Like just because you you know what I'm saying care about the the, the art. You know what I'm saying? And I I think that's the thing. Like. A lot of people they just want the money and don't care about the art. Like I like I love the money, but to me it's the it's the creating the creativity of it that that really makes me feel fulfilled. Now the the, the icing on the cake is to hear it on the radio. To hear Flex <coughs> drop a bomb and, and yeah and, and say yo this right here it's like like big. you did with the Kai record like yo that it, it's a good feeling because I remember hearing other people's records and, and you know appreciating the record but when you hear something that you did and hearing a DJ as big as he is co-sign the record you know what I'm saying it's a good feeling and the crazy thing is the Kai Baby record isn't the first or only record that not just Flex but other DJs that, that are on mainstream radio have co-signed and, and really rocked the record and it just goes to show like yo I I know what I'm doing at this point you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm doing, yeah. and I know what DJs want, and I know what the radio want. So it's a no here's, here, here, here's here's some here's some some artists that I w- I would like for you to work with, mm-hmm. and, and I'll help you out. YSP, I need you. I I need YSP on the radio. Nah, that's dope. I mean, yo, if anybody got a link, or if, or if he or if anybody, I'm 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 a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a hook you up. <laughs> Nah, shout, out to Re- shout out to Rerock and you know Derek Angel Lady Crazy Cat. Um, what happened to the chick um that did ooh? What happened to like I will you oh, need to do a young, young MA. Young MA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's another one that 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 I know I, I could give her a banger. Like, you know, I don't know her personally, but I would love to work with her. I would definitely love to work with her. I would like to work with her, uh Lola Brook. <coughs> um I need, Armani, a Camp Low record. A, I need a Camp Low uh, record. I need a Camp yeah, Low I record. Love it can't die. I need I love, an AZ I record. Yo, AZ especially, especially like especially dudes I'm fans of, and AZ I'm a, right. I'm, a, I'm a fan of his work. And you right. know, and you know what's crazy? That's um his DJ is actually a friend of mine, Duop. So that shouldn't really be. <clears throat> I guess it's just catching him when he's working. But you know, that 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 that, that that's real feasible in 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 the near future. Okay. Um, did I mention Armani Caesar? I would like to work yes. with Armani Caesar. Yes, she's dope. I, I would like dope. to um Benny the Butcher. Um of it's course. a dude from Brooklyn, from Coney Island, Brooklyn. I've been I've been hearing on Brooklyn Bar. He's dope. Uh I'm trying to think who else. It's 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 a lot of you know what's what's crazy, believe it or not. I would really like to work with SZA. SZA got some joints. Yeah, and I think I think I would have like that uh that Diddy Mary J um Blige kind of um combination with her where you know I I wouldn't give her what what everybody's used to her hearing I would definitely give her that right. knock I would give her something like similar to what um Kwame gave um Vivian Green you know what I'm saying mm, something yeah. like that or and that that's but, yeah, to me, yeah, that, yeah. that's one of the best uses of the Frankie Beverly record that I've heard. <laughs> Man, that, like, I, yo, I would I wouldn't even touch that record after that. I it, kick, it's disrespectful. Kick Capri plays that record every time I see him DJ. He plays that I record. I play that record every time I see DJ. I personally play that record every time. It's like I love I love that record. Yo, that shit, you know what's crazy? Because that became the this millennia's uh cookout record to me. Like you 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 pay homage, you pay the Frank, you play the Frankie Beverly part. 
uh, original, but it don't make sense to go into anything else unless you're going to hit that Vivian Green right after that. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. It, it's a perfect bridge from from doing a classic set and bring it in into you know right new and, R and D. No, no shots to Beyonce, but Viv I, I like Vivian Green's version way better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Way like, and I, like you said, no shots to Beyonce. I like the Beyonce joint, but the way Kwame put that beat together is crazy. Because yo, and like I, I wouldn't have never thought the way it's like before I let before I yo that the chops, everything, the instrumentation in it, like that shit's mm -hmm. such a banging ass record. Yo, salute to Kwame. Word, who's a right. who's a, another fav, uh, favorite producer of mine. Word. Yeah, Kwame is super dope. I I interviewed him yeah. before. Like his basement is like a museum for like sneakers and toys. Yo, I saw the interview and I was like, yo, he's a fellow toy collector too. I fuck with. Well, yeah, that's right. You 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 got the Millennium Falcon and you got a yeah, bunch of I got a bunch of action figures. Um, I collect those Funko Pops. Like right now, it's crazy because it was a good thing I did buy a house because I I was running out of room. Or damn. All right, bro. But yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you handle your business today. Uh, good luck on the meeting later today. Keep Yo, I appreciate updated. the gadget. Burr, and, let, and let's get it. Like you said, we're doing these records. So, yeah, let's get it. 20 records this summer. All right, man. All right, cool. I'll talk to you later. All right, peace. peace.